We're going to start by looking at the winner of the listed Denford State at the weekend by Dubawi called Victory Dance. Yeah, it's second in a group two behind Isaac Shelby. That was in July. We didn't, weren't looking then. We only started looking at the beginning of August. So hopefully we'll catch up with Isaac Shelby at some point and have a good look at him. But this was a listed winner. And it was fancied to win uh, 8 to 15 favourite on its third start. Uh, it's a race that we've done quite well in the Denford Stakes. I think Al Dabaran won the Denford Stakes for us. At two, possibly. Uh, this horse here, Victory Dance, you'll see it's by Dubawi out of a dam called Dane Street. Which makes her a half which makes him a half sister to a horse that was fancied for the Irish Thousand Guineas not so long ago. It was a Moyer, Moyer Glare winner. Group 1, Group 2 and Group 3 winner called uh, Skitter Scatter. And there's nice there's nice stamina in the pedigree as well. The second dam is a half-sister to a Group 1 winner and Stallion. Intense focus. Uh, that horse won the Dewhurst. And further back from the fourth dam, there's the Group 1 winners in there. Ascot Gold Cup winner, Subjectivist is in there. You've got an Irish Derby winner, Soldier of Fortune in there as well. And also Sholokov who was uh, second in the Irish Derby and has proved himself to be a very good National Hunt sire. You know, that's through the fourth dam, who was also placed in a Group 3. If people take a look at this horse, they will see that it's another one from what's proven to be the most much vaunted 14C family line. I think we're following a few. One of these, what I am going to do one day, is I'm going to note down the, the, fam, the dam line of all of them and then we'll know which dam line is producing most of the horses that we're following. This is one we've looked at a lot of times, you see. This is our particular section today. There is a Soldier of Fortune and Sholokov. You see other horses in there, you know, a little bit further down. Uh, some nice horses, but there's not really much classic form around our area. If you go back a generation or two, you'll see that it's still Chile, Uruguay, Yugoslavia around the turn of the century. But as we've known from this line, there is plenty of world-class horses on it. Brigadier Gerard, Vintage Tipple. We've looked at this looked at this line so many times. Russian Rhythm, Shadow Ye. You know, there'll be so many. You know, it's just a matter of scrolling through it and hoping that this is one of them, the one we're looking at now. Uh, so many nice horses on this line. There's our section again, you'll see a lot of a lot of interesting horses I'll be lying if I said I knew much about them. Same with these ones, there's Invasor, the Uruguay. Set 2000 Guineas and Derby winner, also good horse in Maidan in America, it was at the end, I think. Yeah, so there is, there is some nice horses on this line. Let's see what the horse can do on the track. Victory Dance in the Denford. And they're away for this listed Denford Stakes over the straight seven furlongs. Ferrari Queen on the left away pretty sharply. So too Blue Light Bay on the right. In the centre, Seat to Door followed by Candle of Hope and Victory Dance is dropped in by William Buick as they gallop through the first furlong or so. Ferrari Queen unbeaten in two from Blue Light Bay on the right and Seat Door the Brighton winner close up in third from the favourite Victory Dance on the near side. William You're Buick in the all blue jacket and the awesome. Royal Colours worn at the back by Tom Marquand on Candle of Hope, also unbeaten in two. Ferrari Queen then leads the way as they race on now towards the halfway stage. Three and a half furlongs from the finish. Ferrari Queen, Blue Light Bay on the far side. Victory Dance inching a little bit closer now from seat to door and Candle of Hope. And they're well grouped together as they now race on towards the final two and a half furlongs. Ferrari Queen, Blue Light Bay just hanging a bit away to the right. Uh, Victory Dance is now pushed along to challenge and coming 
there from Seat Door and Candle of Hope is certainly not out of it on the left on the stand side as Victory Dance probably just takes it up from Ferrari Queen as they enter the final furlong. Victory Dance, Ferrari Queen, Candle of Hope running on well down the near side, but Victory Dance striding out well is Victory Dance by two, two and a half lengths, and Victory Dance wins in good style. From in second, Ferrari Queen, Candle of Hope in third, Seat Door and Blue Light Bay. I mean, you could say that, you could say that, that was one of them that, if you weren't impressed by that, you, you're probably watching the wrong video. I mean, well, that was an impressive performance, wasn't it? I mean, I thought he did well to hold it, hold it together for as long as he did, the jockey. You know, many people would have been tempted just to go a bit early on it. Uh, he held it together well, and it found plenty for pressure at the end. And I was impressed by the size of it. That's one that. That's one that could improve to be anything, I think, looking at that.